Hello guys, welcome back to Noobs Law School. This is Subhashri Padi, and today in this video, we are going to talk about an agreement that is signed between India and UAE. That is Comprehensive Economic Partner Agreement (CEPA). Before knowing about the agreement, let us first know that what is CEPA. CEPA means Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, which is a free trade agreement between two countries. now you must be thinking what is a free trade agreement so let me tell you that a free trade agreement is a agreement between two or more nation to reduce barrier to import and export among them so basically under a free trade policy goods and services can be bought and sold across the international borders with less or no government tariffs tariff means tax quotas subsidies or prohibition to inhibit their exchange so before knowing about the agreement i would like to tell you something that guys we have come with an extension offer and this offer is valid till april 1 2022 so basically in this offer if you are taking a 3 month subscription then you will be getting 1 month free subscription with that and if you are getting 9 month subscription then you will be getting 3 months free subscription with that So guys don't miss this golden opportunity and take the subscription as soon as possible because if you are paying if you are paying for 3 month subscription then you are getting 1 month subscription free with that Now guys we are coming with a price hike from April 1 the price will be increased by 20% so guys if you are a clat and other law examination aspirant don't miss this chance because if you are taking the subscription now you will be getting 30% discount that is 10% by applying my code that is t h r i n a t h 10 trinat 10 and the rest 20% has not still increased So guys before the price get increased take the subscription as soon as possible if you are a serious clat and other law and trans aspirant Now talking about the free session that that is happening on April 2 2022 Saturday 7 pm it is a globalization of legal education and legal profession in India it will be live on YouTube at Unacademy Clat channel so if you guys are interested then you can join this free session on YouTube Clat channel Now talking about certain batches that an academy is providing. The first one is ultimate batch for MHC T 2022. It is a three months batch course and it is starting on from March 30, 2022. An, and it is in English and Hindi language. And the next batch is score booster batch. It is a revision batch for CLAT 2022 and 2023 aspirants. And it is starting on from March 30. and it is in english language the another one is let's crack clat it is an excellence batch for clat 2023 aspirants and it is starting on from april 1 and it is in english and hindi language now talking about the agreement why cpa has been made between india and uae the first one is to push bilateral trade bilateral trade means it is an agreement between two countries to promote trade and commerce so basically in this agreement they eliminate trade barriers such as tariffs import tariff means taxes import quotas and export restraints in order to encourage trade and investment so the main advantage of bilateral trade we can say that it is an expansion of the market for a country's goods through concerted negotiation between two countries and the second one is for more ua investment if this agreement will be made then we uae will invest more in india's market and the third one is it could make a way for broader free trade agreement that is fta with gcc gcc countries so uae is a member of gcc country gcc means gulf cooperation council it is a political and economic union union of arab states bordering the gulf it is established in 1981 and it consists of six members that is uae saudi arabia qatar oman kuwait and bahrain so if uh, cepa works then india will be able to make free trade agreement between other gcc countries also now let us see what is india uae relations the first one is uae is currently india's third largest trading partner 
Then bilateral trade between UAE and India stood at $43.3 billion in 2020 and 2021. And the third one is the UAE is also India's second largest export destination after US. UAE also has huge Indian diaspora. And the fifth one is UAE is the eighth largest investor in India, having invested $11 billion between April 2000 and March 2021. Now talking about the main points about the CEPA. The first one is India UAE CEPA is the first deep and full free trade agreement to be signed by India within country in the past decade. And it is the second major trade deal after India Mauritius partnership agreement. So the next one is CEPA provides an institutional mechanism to encourage and improve trade between the two countries. The CEPA between India and the UAE covers almost all the tariff lines, that is tax lines, dealt in by India, that is 11908 tariff lines, and the UAE, that is 7581 tariff lines, respectively. India and the UAE enjoy excellent bilateral relationship which is a deep rooted and historical as well, sustained and nurtured by close cultural and civilized, civilizational affinities, frequent high level political interactions and vibrant people to people linkages. India and the UAE have been each other's leading trading partners. These excellent bilateral economic commercial relations have continued to enhance and deepen over time. Now talking about the benefits that India got after the agreement, CEPA. The first one is India has benefited from, from preferential market access provided by the UAE on over 97% of its tariff lines, which account for 99% of Indian exports to the UAE in value terms, especially for all labor intensive sectors such as gems and jewelry, textile, leather, footwear, and many more. The second one is as regard trade in service, India has offered market access to the UAE in around 100 subsectors, while India service providers will have access to around 111 subsectors from the 11 broad service sectors. The third one is from 180 billion dollar. From the third one is from 180 million dollar per annum in the 1970s. India UAE bilateral trade has steadily increased to $60 billion, that is 4.55 lakh crore in Indian rupees in FY between 2019 to 2020, making the UAE India's third largest trading partner with exports to the UAE valued at $29 billion for the year 2019 and 2020. The UAE is also the second largest export destination of India, while Indian imports from the UAE were valued around $30 billion, including 21.83 MMT of crude oil. The UAE is an important source of Indian energy supply and a key partner of India in the development of strategic petroleum reserves, upstream and downstream petroleum sectors. The sixth one is UAE, also the eighth largest investor in India with an estimated investment of $18 billion. The seventh one is India and UAE have recently entered into a memorandum of understanding that is MOU, where the UAE has committed $75 billion towards infrastructure development in India. And India UAE CEPA will further cement the already deep, close strategic relation between the two countries and will create new employment opportunity, raise living standards, and improve the general welfare of the people of the two countries. So that's it about the agreement. So guys, if you like the way we simplified the news here, then please like, share and subscribe our channel. And that's it. Thank you.